We've ventured inside every hole in the body today, and our last orifice produces a substance which can sometimes be the pits. Take a look. <laughs> sweat glands. It's normal, and it's good to sweat. It can, but it can also be stinky, especially during puberty when those hormones turn on and the bacteria on the bottom causes the odor. But then there's also pheromones, which causes attraction, too, during uh, puberty as well. So sweat can actually be, well, it is a good thing. It's a <laughs> as long as you don't leave it on for weeks on end. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes a problem. Clean a little bit more, yeah, and deodorant. But you know, I came about something that is uh, pretty interesting, a study, you know, buttermilk. That, that we know is good for you. It's full of nutrients. Yes, it has some fat in it. It's, uh, it's healthy. Mm -hmm. But the study sh said that it actually may decrease sweat production. So a little buttermilk. Right here. Do you like buttermilk? I don't know I don't that know. I've ever had straight oh, up buttermilk. Oh, look how thick it is. Oh, wow. my gosh, it's like cream. I'm not going to sweat the rest of the day. But <laughs> <laughs> what does it drink like? Don't let them see you sweat. Wash it on you. You don't drink it much? I've never had it unless you know, it's part we, of You know, I'm Polish. We, we use buttermilk for... Well, another thing so you I, don't want to do is, is you, or that you do want to do is avoid spicy foods because that can really make you sweat and also things like garlic because that's just going to add to the odor oh, yeah, and things like I that. I love that garlic sweat, though. There you go. And I want to ask meal. you guys a question. How do you feel about antiperspirant deodorants? Because I, I'm going to lay this on the table. Uh, yeah. As I've gotten older in life, a lot of days I haven't been wearing it and I don't... I haven't found that I'm... And yet you're still single. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why. Lisa! What? Yeah, I can make some. No, but Lisa, I, I, I want to bring this up because it's one of those things where... No, yeah, I agree I, you with know, you. Sometimes... When I was younger, when I was a teenager, you know, I would get home sometimes and be like, who's cutting, you know, who's cutting an onion? Yeah, right. But Does... sometimes I like to give my body a little break from those chemicals, you know? And that's, that's one of the reasons I've not been using it every day. And, I say as long as you're not, you know, smelling up the joint. Well, Lisa, you said the yeah. closest. It's probably to okay him. to occasionally it, avoid it, right? Is it okay over there? Yeah, I mean, I don't, he's okay, but if I'll you, tell you when if I you smell. smell, or if people <laughs> are running away from yeah, you, <laughs> then you might want to use some deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's good. He's good. Oh, good. You know, See, I don't no, smell. Smell. Yeah. no smell. I wore it today. For really excessive sweaters, we have. There's other medications you can take as well as the use of Botox in areas, if you're really an excessive sweater, in your armpits, your hands, your feet, and your groin. Actually, I've, I've treated all of those areas with Botox, and it works well.